Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through variant 5, quest 1 of chapter 1. And I'm going to identify the easiest path that I feel you can take to do your initial completion. And it's going to be that path that starts with Storm Pyramid X. So you can see the globals that you have to deal with as well as the nodes. So the global, I pretty much ignored in this quest. Um, but you can read what the global does. But on this path, uh, you're going to have to deal with Energize, which means they're going to be gaining more power as you hit them. Um, and it's not that difficult to deal with. You don't need a power control champion or anything like that. So you see here, I'm just uh, building up my poise charges with my Spider-Man Stark Enhanced. But honestly, you don't really need a specific counter for these fights. So if you're comfortable fighting um, Storm Pyramid X, you can go ahead and bring whoever you like. Now, I pushed it to a special two. The special two is harder for me to evade. But because I had Starkey, as you saw there, uh, we did okay. But normally, I would recommend pushing her only to a special one and baiting that out. Okay, now you notice that I fired off Starkey's heavy, but it didn't drain her because I didn't want to deal with a special two again. However, um, she has a glancing ability. And if you glance, then you're not going to get the drain. And that's what happened there. Now, I might do it again at another time and I will get the drain, but that's it's a risky thing to do. So you don't want to uh, push her close to uh, special three and then try to fire off, you know, Starkey's heavy or anything like that. But as you see, we got through it. We didn't need the power control or anything like that. So next up is Iron Man. He's very easy to fight. He's an old champion. If you know how to fight Iron Man, there's nothing uh, different or more difficult about this fight. Uh, you just have to worry about that energize and, and, and the um, special one bias, but both of his specials are very easy to evade. So you shouldn't have any problem with this uh, Iron Man. Uh, but I'll take this opportunity to talk a little bit more about the global. Uh, even though you can read the global, as I mentioned earlier, um, this global, great responsibility or something like that, uh, if you evade 100 times, I believe it's evade their specials with a dex or a miss, like if you were using ghost, um, and I forget what all uh, triggers it, uh, you'll get this counter and you see it up there. When you get to 100, uh, what will happen is you will receive a buff that lasts for 10 seconds. That buff does several things. And again, I don't remember everything it does. I believe it um, ignores armor, resistances, uh, evasion or something like that. Um, it may even shut down uh, their abilities. Uh, reduce them uh, severely. Um, but read that. I didn't use it, but Venom, um, Stealth Spidey, and Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, they're all Spider-Verse champions. It has to be a Spider-Verse champion uh, to get this particular buff. So if you have some good Spider-Verse champions, bring them in and make use of it. Like I said, I didn't make use of it. Uh, it probably would have made some fights a little bit easier. So next up, we're going to be fighting Proxima Midnight, also a very easy champion to deal with. Uh, that's why I chose this path. It had some easy opponents, uh, but more on that later because we do uh, choose a poor opponent for the uh, initial clear. But so far, we're having no problems whatsoever. Now, uh, you don't have game sound because... Ordinarily, I don't do these live. I prefer to do them off stream so that I can concentrate on the fighting and I'm not distracted by chat or anything like that. I can do my research um, at my leisure and then just go in here and just get it done. But I did this live, so I had to mute the um, video because... Otherwise, you'd get hear me talking to my chat, you know, um, 
all during these fights. So I'm fighting distracted as well because I'm trying to read chat, you know, and I know I've got people watching me and, you know, all that good stuff. All right. So you notice that she has unblockable. Her specials are easy to evade. If you know how to fight her, you're not going to have any difficulty. Again, no specific counters are needed. All right. So, so far we're doing just fine. One of the ways to identify the easy path right now is a one star chest. All right. But look at this. Here is where we made a poor decision. So off to the left, you'll notice that there is a one star chest on both. There's two of them. But on the right, there's a two star chest and then a one star chest. And that makes that path there the more difficult. OK, so I'm looking over there. And if you are doing this initially, my recommendation is to go to that far left path. Stay to the left. You're going to have to deal with havoc. So bring someone that has an armor up or can drain power, you know, or a good uh, habit counter and you'll be fine. Uh, like uh, Colossus, Guillotine 2099, they work great. I went this way so that I could get um, more, uh, sorry, Mojo out of the way. I want to say Modoc or Mordo. I don't know why, uh, but Mojo out of the way. I hate fighting Mojo. I don't fight him very well because I haven't gotten a lot of practice in fighting him. Um, but you don't want to bring in somebody that relies on a lot of buffs. You're going to get wrecked. So a good counter for Mojo would be Red Guardian, if you have a Red Guardian, because he does not get buffs. I don't know who all are good um, counters for Mojo. You can see I sat here for a little while. Like, again, this is live that I did this. And I'm sitting here going, man, I did not want to deal with Mojo right away. But my mindset was, OK, I'm just going to go over here. Let's just get this done. And I'll, I'll need, you know, probably a revive or two and just sort of brute force my way through. Um, but fighting Mojo like I said, is not my strong point. You want to avoid generating buffs. And that includes when you dex. Uh, if you have the dexterity mastery, you're going to get a, I believe it's a precision buff uh, when you dex. Even that's not good. So uh, Mojo is, is a tricky one to fight. Uh, he doesn't even need to be awakened in order to be a royal pain. Uh, we see him often uh, in Alliance War and just hate him, just hate him with a passion. Now, when I do encounter him in Alliance War, uh, I often use my Nick Fury and just get him down uh, with the bleeds and all of that good stuff. I try not to uh, trigger decks or anything like that and uh, just go hard on him. Uh, but you can see my Starkey got wrecked. And I'm sitting here, I'm just like, wow, all right. And I'm asking folks, all right, who do you think I should uh, try next? You know, I'm looking over it as if this is going to help me uh, because I'm not reading uh, his abilities. I really just need practice in fighting Mojo. Some people take off the dexterity mastery just to deal with him. I wasn't about to do that. Um, but, you know, anyone that doesn't generate a lot of buffs, is going to be a good candidate uh, and then it's going to be your play style you know so you can see here you know i kind of had to evade that right but for some people you can evade early and you'll do okay you won't trigger decks but i have a hard time doing that now i pushed him to a special two i cannot evade his special two all right, you see, that's why I just blocked. I, I evaded like one. Um, I have evaded his special two before, but I just need to practice. Uh, and you see how my health is just draining away? That's what happens. And then just gone. That's why I hate fighting Mojo. Uh, in evading like that, I should have just blocked all of them. But in evading, I triggered Dex, I got the buff, and then I started getting that degen. And so at this point, I'm just like, yeah, I'm just trying to get through him. I do not want to fight him again. 
he's the only one on this path that I would have willingly avoided. He's the most difficult fight on this path, in my opinion. So again, if you are uh, doing this for your first initial clear, you can follow that path, but then veer to the left. Just bring a Havoc counter, okay? And Havoc, much easier to fight than Mojo, in my opinion. Now, Venom is actually a decent uh, Havoc counter. However, for Venom to get that armor up buff, it's a little bit of an RNG. So I could have gone over there, brought in Venom, and hoped for the armor up buff, and then we would have been good. If I didn't get it, I would have gotten wrecked, and then I would have had to um, do the same thing, reviving and all that good stuff, uh, because Havoc would have just ripped me apart. All right, so again, I'm pretty much stalling here, just stalling, because I really don't want to go back in here and fight him. Um, but eventually I went ahead and brought in my Black Widow Clairvoyant. And I didn't want to use her right just yet. But I'm like, okay, you know, I think uh, a couple of people in the chat were like, use Clairvoyant. Um, but the thing is, even if you have a good uh, counter, you can still just mess up. Like you saw there, I'm trying to evade, but if you evade a little too late, you're still going to get caught and it's unblockable. His special one here is unblockable. So you have to evade it or else you're going to get clipped like you saw me get clipped. See, it's unblockable. Now there I did it fine because I went back early, but then you'll get caught in the corner, which is not where you want to be like this. So I'm like, all right, fine. We're going to push him to a special three, you know. Um, now, because Black Widow Clairvoyant was awakened, uh, I could have uh, survived if I fired off a special three, and then I would have survived his special three. But I just didn't even want to deal with it, just wanted to get through. I did some damage. Like I said, I had already planned to pretty much brute force my way through. And, you know, at this point, you know, the chat is talking about, you know, ways I could have done it. And I'm like, look, I just want to get through this as quickly as possible. If it costs me a few revives, that's fine because I won't have to do this fight again. Now, the problem with Venom, as you see, he relies on and he gets a lot of buffs. So he is a horrible option. I was just hoping to whittle down uh, this guy a little bit more, but didn't get a chance to do a whole lot. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, we've got one left. This one Mojo, we were doing fine on the, old, the entire path, but look at what Mojo is doing. Now, if you're better at fighting Mojo or you bring in a better counter for this Mojo, you'll do okay. Um, I believe Magic might be a good counter. Uh, Red Guardian, a good counter. The reason Magic is because of the node uh, where they're getting extra power. So if you can lock down that power, you'll have an easier time. Okay, so boom, Dr. Voodoo finished him off. Um, I'm trying to think of others. Uh, Nick Fury uh, might be a good option as well. Uh, basically, you just want folks that don't rely on a lot of buffs. And then you just want to avoid dexing as often as possible, you know. Um, but like that unblockable special one, you're going to want to dex more often than not. So if you have someone that has some power control and can lock him down, then you'll do better. Um, OG Vision might do fine in that fight. I don't know for sure. I haven't tried, but I'm thinking he might do well uh, against that uh, mojo. All right. So now we come to Mysterio. The problem now is that I have only a little bit of health and only one champion left because of that mojo. So now these fights, which should have been a little bit easier, people that I was planning to bring in against this Mysterio, they're all dead. And so I'm like, okay, well, let's uh, go to the inventory and grab some uh, uh, resources here because I know I'm going to have to revive, okay? And you see I have a plenty of level one revives. 
So I'm not worried about uh, anything like that. All right. Yeah, I'm showing uh, my alliance just what my revive situation looks like. So look at that. Look at the level ones. Look at the health potions. I, I tend to have a good stash of them because I do a lot of arena, a lot of solo events. And after I did all of this variant, solo events have gotten an upgrade. So it'll be even easier to uh, get a lot of those that you saw there. Uh, level twos, level ones, there's going to be uh, level three revives in some of the solo objective uh, rewards. So it's going to be easier for more people uh, to stockpile so that they can do content like this without having to use units. Because that's my goal. I uh, don't want to use any units. And I didn't. I didn't use any units on variant five. It might have been, um, I can't remember if I bought uh, some energy refills. I might have done that. Um, but I don't count those because you don't have to spend those in order to get this content done. You only spend those because you just want to do it quickly. So, you know, if I spend some units just because I want to go quick, that's on me. But if I was spending units to um, get health potions or on revives, that's a different story. Okay, because that's really to help me complete this content. So you can see here, I'm sitting here and I'm asking the chat, who should I, you know, um, revive here? Because that mojo really messed up my plans. Okay. And so I was like, okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and revive him. Um, I have fun fighting with Stark Spidey. Uh, he's one of my favorite champions to fight with. And so I said, all right, let me go in here, heal him up a little bit and see what we could do against this Mysterio. Now, remember you have that global that I was talking about. I could have been using that global, but especially against Mojo, it was more difficult because to use it, you have to dex a lot, which means you'll get that buff if you have that mastery, which will get you wrecked against Mojo. But I could have been using this here, um, but I just, I, I don't know. I don't think that that global was really worth it, uh, in my opinion. Uh, but look at this. Look at the damage that I'm taking uh, on my block. And I was like, wow. So I had to hit him back, you know. I'm like, yeah, get back a little bit. All right, we want to push him to his special two. That special one is extremely annoying. If you're not aware, nah, down I went. If you're not aware uh, of the special one, if you fire off that special one, Mysterio, there is a time where all damage that you do to him will be reflected to you at the end. So the only time you ever want to attack him during that phase is if you're sure you're going to be able to kill him. Other than that, you you need to parry, evade, stay away from him. All right. So when Starkey went down like that, I'm just like, OK, forget this. You know, let's just go ahead in. Uh, we, we, we know we're going to have to revive again, but um, I wanted to give Dr. Voodoo a, a shot here. OK, and then here we go. And I, I don't know what it is about Mysterio and the way that he fights, but he always catches me like that. It seems like he throws a lot more heavies he intercepts a lot more it's really annoying because um i'm sitting here trying to you know uh find my my in to attack him and he's doing this and i'm like okay you know but i've gotten a little bit better at fighting him now one thing that you can do against mysterio and which i could have done any of the spider verse champions if you knock him down, you'll crack his helmet, which is where he has a lot of his powers. All right. So you see the helmet active. If you knock him down with a Spider-Verse champion. But just look at this. I tried to evade back and he pounced. I evaded uh, early because I was trying to stay away from him. And I'm just getting wrecked. I, I'm just like, OK, I don't know what's going on at this point. Um, but that's the second time I've gotten wrecked by this Mysterio. And I'm just like, man, was, was the, did, did the fight with Mojo take a lot out of me? Cause it seems like it, you know, you know, and remind you, I am doing this live. 
All right. So my mind is not completely focused on this and I'm embarrassing myself in front of folks, just messing up. All right. So this time I said, let's bring in my boy, Venom. Okay. See them big yellow numbers? Venom is working it. Um, the special one is unblockable, just so you know. So you do need to know how to evade that. And you see how I'm not attacking him here? Um, until that phase ended. All right, and here we go, dealing with that special one again. And then here, we can't attack him. So I'm like parrying him, parrying him, and I'm in the corner. I'm trying to stay out of that corner. All right, here we go, it's over. We pushed him to a special two, and then I did that, the special one, just to get him back further, okay? And then, oh, that's one of the things that happens when he has a special, after his special two, you have a chance to um, miss like that, okay? But here we go, we fired off the special, um, we pushed him to a special two again, all right, here we go. Now, what happened there, and I'm sorry to say, I was having uh, issues with the uh, stream, this is one of the reasons that I don't really want to do these live, and I'm probably not going to do that uh, again in the future. Uh, but uh, you didn't get a chance to see the end of that fight, and the footage is lost. The stream went down right in the middle of the fight, you know, but uh, we did get him. So uh, you can see here I'm sitting here and I'm fuming because the, the stream is, is getting back now, and now... You know, I'm fighting um, Magneto and I'm just like, oh, my goodness, you know, and I'm vowing, vowing not to do this again. I did all of this variant um, live. Yeah, you see, I'm showing everybody here um, that they could see what happened at the end of that fight. You see my venom in the lower left hand corner. You'll notice that he's still alive. OK, so he finished off that Mysterio. I wish you guys could have seen uh, the end of that fight. But, you know, it is what it is. And like I said, I am not going to ever do that again. Um, but we move on and uh, I healed up Venom. And now we're going to fight this Magneto. Uh, Magneto Red, by the way, got a buff. Um, I don't remember if he was buffed at this point. Um, I don't think so, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, this here. Now, the thing about Magneto's uh, unblockable special one, only the first part is unblockable. Okay, so if you evade that first part of his special, you can block the second one. I usually try to evade it anyway. Uh, and of course, if you don't know how to evade that special uh, two, then don't push him to a special two. All right. And you can see I'm, I'm evading it uh, mainly to avoid some uh, block damage. All right. Now, I pushed him to a special two. All right. And oh, I got lucky there. Uh, normally, I evade the special two very easily if I'm up close. I had that timing pretty uh, down. But when I'm at a distance, I was just like, oh, evade, evade, evade. OK, um, but we got it and we're going. OK, boom. You know, got it. And we're going in. Boom, boom. All right. So he's not too difficult. You want to avoid a metal champion. Um, even if he hadn't gotten an upgrade at this point, by the time you watch this video, the upgrade is in. You do not want to fight this Magneto with a champion that has the hashtag metal uh, on them. Don't do it. It's not a good time. Okay. So we got him down and now finally, after all of this, this, this actually took the longest of, I believe any of the other quests, most of the quests, I think on average took about 15 minutes. Uh, we're at 24 minutes right now. All right. But what is difficult about this boss is that mighty charge combined with the immunity of debuff effects. Let me explain. So when you fight a debuff immune champion, uh, first of all, that means no bleeds. So you can't bleed him down like Venom. A lot of his bleeds can't. Um, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But 
the style that you adopt when you fight someone who is debuff immune um, means they're also stun immune, okay? So you have to fight them in what we call a stun immune style, which means you wanna intercept a lot more and bait out heavies and specials. But with Mighty Charge, you can't do that. Okay, you see how I went in after her heavy? That's how you do it. But, boom, what happened there? By instinct, I will dash in to intercept. That is why I hate the Mighty Charge so much. You're gonna see me get wrecked precisely because I can't remember not to intercept. It's just so funny because Kabam has these nodes that are designed to punish you for acquiring a skill that you need to complete other content. Now, you have some people that are very versatile and they can switch between the styles and I can do it. I'm not as um, proficient at if, um, switching styles up that quickly. It usually takes me a, a little bit before I can start getting used to it. Uh, if you watched during uh, one of my live streams when I did uh, Alliance War, there's a node there that will punish you for parrying and stunning because then it gets reflected back to you one time and then they have another node that increases the duration of the stun um, by 100%. So basically, you accidentally parry and you're pretty much done, all right, unless you have a stun immune uh, champion. So here, you know, intercepting is already a very dangerous and difficult thing to do. But some of us, we, we get used to it. We, we know how to fight certain champions. Like she's not that difficult to fight, but those nodes. So now I have to change my style up. I can't evade. I mean, uh, I can't intercept. I have to bait out specials and I have to bait out heavy attacks and I can um, hit into her block to try to build up power so that she can get pushed to a special one and then I can evade the special one and then go in. But Mighty Charge, if you watch uh, other uh, veteran players, they hate Mighty Charge precisely because they have muscle memory. They have that intercept in their muscle memory and now they're getting punished uh, for it. Uh, so read the node very carefully, Mighty Charge 3, there are different levels of it, uh, but this Mighty Charge, this level, if you, uh, when they are doing their medium, which is when you would do your intercept, when they do that medium dash attack, that is when they go unstoppable. And so you're not going to win the intercept with them. Uh, I don't know if Captain America Infinity War can cancel out that... Um, that unstoppable. Uh, I don't remember if that unstoppable is passive or active. Uh, if it's passive, then he can't do it. All right, so you see here, boom. And then I did it again. This is why I don't like Mighty Charge. And you can be sure on chat, I'm sitting there going, oh my goodness, I hated Mighty Charge. Because that's what took me out right there. I actually went for the intercept out of reflex. And it wrecked me. So I have to change up my style. And for a lot of people, they love that. That's what Kabam, uh, that's what their design is for, to shake things up, to make you fight in a different way than what you're used to. And for people like me, I don't really like that. You know, I don't like things like that because, you know, I acquire this skill and now I'm being punished for it. And it's not an easy skill to acquire. There's still people that don't evade, I mean, uh, intercept very well. And I'm not the best at intercepting, but then I finally, I get some intercepts and then I get punished for it. You know, it's, it's worse than just not getting um, rewarded, but you get punished. All right, so now after messing that up, I'm, I'm in my head, I'm going, okay, no intercepting, no intercepting, you know? And so you can see here, uh, I'm doing like what I was talking about. All right. We went back in with Black Widow because we couldn't go out like that. Um, so now we can just um, try to bait out the specials. Okay. And uh, I keep getting hit on my block. Don't ask me why. 
And uh, after she fired off her special, now I can fire my special off. Okay. And um, Black Widow's special three is nice. If she's awakened, you have a, a, a slight cheek death, you know, for a little bit of time afterwards. It's not worth awakening her, but I had so many um, mystic awakening gems that I decided to just go ahead and awaken her uh, for no reason other than to use them up. I think at the time I had four and uh, no one really to use them on. Um, I've used, I think I've used uh, two now, two or three. Um, but in any case, you can see here, I'm, I'm getting into that zone. Okay, baited out that heavy. And baiting out the heavy usually means I take a little bit of a hit on my block like that. Okay, and now I'm backing off, evade the special one, go back in fire off my uh, special two, get a little bit of health back, okay? And uh, look at that. And I don't wanna push her to a special two. Look at that, she's just, you know, like she's a gymnast or something, just heavy, 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 all right? So we're going in again, and this is going much better because I finally have gotten used to not intercepting and, you know, just takes a little bit of time, okay, for me. Others can do it very quickly. All right, but that's gonna do it for the video, guys. Hopefully this helps you do your initial clear. Uh, so leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about this video. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will try to help you out as much as possible. Um, but I hope this video will help you get your initial clear done cheaply and easily. Remember, far left path, bring a counter for havoc. Take care and you all have a blessed day.